I feel that our job has prepared us for the race because you try to get someone from Texas to buy a $70,000 Pariba Tourmaline. Probably not the easiest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. So it requires that you know how to, I don't like this word manipulate, but you have to know how to get people to do what you want them to do. And is that not the race? Is that not every country you go to, everywhere you go, you have to get people to get you to certain places. It's communication skills. You know, we put on the foo-foo makeup and the hair, but I know everyone's gonna be thinking, oh, here's the ditzy Lala's coming into town. Yeah. No. It's not. It's not they're going to be really second. caught off guard. They are. They're not going to. They have no idea. And even. But what, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play that card because yeah, right it. when you look at us, you're like, okay, these girls are the foo foos. You and know? then when I scale a wall like a spider monkey, they're going to be like, whoa, where did that come from? Yeah. Brooke is a control freak. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely takes over the conversation, and Brooke talks a lot, a lot, a lot. And then I kind of just do the, the little jabs here and there. I just have my own comedic relief. Yeah. So Brooke will be like, blah, 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 and then I say, and end scene, and then I come in. It's just exactly the same way as we co host. Yep. You know, and um, that's how we work off of each other. Claire's the one when things get tough, she will call things out. She'll be the one at the ticker counter pushing someone over, going, listen, I need a ticket here, and this is how it's going to happen. And that's where you're a huge asset for our team, where I'm like, oh, that's rude. Oh, I don't know if we should do that. Claire's like, no, she's in there, she gets what she wants, and that's where I think we're very different, too. What I find so interesting is for some reason, people do look at us and think we need help. That we're weak. We don't. No. But do you think I'm going to try and make them think I do? Yeah. Yeah. Help me, please. I, I would be so proud to prove to the country that a woman, a woman team could win the Amazing Race. That is fully capable. It's within our grasp, and it utterly shocks me that it hasn't happened. At this time and point in Brooke and I's lives, we're both engaged. We're both moving on, not only with our careers, but with our fiancés and stuff. I just feel like we're growing up, and the Amazing Race to us, it isn't about the money. It's not about the exposure. I mean, we already do that, and we have great jobs. So it's just about kind of the experience and what we can push ourselves to do. What I love about being on The Amazing Race is that this gives Claire and I an opportunity to dispel a lot of myths about what I'm going to call our kind, how we look, how we act, that there are so many layers deeper than that. And so when you meet another person like us in the future, maybe you might approach them a little bit differently because there's a lot more to us than meets the eye. This throws you in a situation where you get to do everything in your wildest dreams. You're like a modern Indiana Jones. You get to do everything you've always wanted to do. And it's in a couple weeks, and it's all set up for you. How could that not be like the most amazing thing ever? This season definitely belongs to a home team. Finally, it's about time. Yay.